Well, good morning, and thank you for being at New Hope Community Church today. I am so glad you chose this as your place of worship this morning. I am sorry that I can't be with you, but I'm all the way on the East Coast, almost to Canada, enjoying the beautiful fall colors that God has created for us to enjoy. But thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy the service. If you are a guest today, there are some communication cards in the pew in front of you. I would love for you to fill one out, and you can do one of two things with that card. You can either drop it in the offering when it comes by in a little while, or hold on to it until service is over. Go to the welcome booth out on the front porch of the church, turn it in there. They're gonna give you a free book. You get a choice of uh, a free gift. And if you need a Bible, we are happy to give to you uh, a free Bible. But thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy the day. It may seem a long way off, but it's time for our kids to prepare for the Christmas musical. And this year it's cake. <laughs> Not that kind of cake. C-A-K-E, Christmas Acts of Kindness Experiment. So if you had kids aged five through sixth grade, they could participate in this wonderful musical. There's great music and there's some fun parts for the kids to play. The performance will be on December 15th in the evening, but the rehearsals start today during the 11 o'clock service in the office classroom. We hope to see your kids up on stage this Christmas. Our wonderful New Hope book clubs meet on the last week of each month. You can go to our webpage, click on Women's Ministries, then Book Club to see which of our four clubs best sit, suits your needs. Call that group leader for specific details. This is a great way to share your love of reading and meet other women from New Hope. Happy reading! Good morning, seniors. November the 12th is our annual Seniors Thanksgiving Luncheon. There's an old song that goes, Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give thanks to the Holy One. Give thanks because he's Jesus Christ, his son. As we share the Thanksgiving feast on this special Tuesday, I hope we all come with a grateful heart for all that Christ has done for us and all that he desires to continue to do in the days ahead. With that in mind, we're also going to be having a sock drive. You can bring men's packaged large socks, either black socks or white socks, and you can bring children's packaged socks. They are going to benefit the No More Blues Closet, which helps the returning citizens from prison, and also we're giving them to the rescue mission. Thanksgiving lunch is $5 per person to reserve your seat. You can put your $5 in an envelope, write on it senior luncheon, and drop it in the offering when it comes by a little later. Seats are limited. We've already sold 60 seats, so please don't delay. God bless each of you as you're a blessing to others. Man, it's not too late to sign up for Man Camp. That runs October 25th through the 27th up at Camp Edison at Shaver Lake. $25 will get you two nights of camping, great food, a camp t-shirt, and good fellowship. So if you haven't joined yet, go to the welcome booth and sign up. We hope to see you up there. Our walking club meets on the first Saturday of each month. The next one is Saturday, November the 2nd at 8 a.m. at the Dry Creek Trailhead on the corner of Sunnyside and Shepherd. Come out and enjoy a beautiful morning walk with other ladies and friends from New Hope. Happy trails! We have a special opportunity this Christmas. Two of the Christmas trees that will be on our stage are going to be decorated by you. And here's the way that works. You can purchase an ornament. It's called a memory ornament. You can get two lines, three lines, or four lines written on that ornament and remember a loved one. You see, Christmas is all about love remembering the love of Jesus Christ for us, remembering our love for family. And if there is a family or a friend that you'll be missing this Christmas and you would like to honor them, you can purchase an ornament, have their name put on it. Those ornaments are gonna decorate two of our Christmas trees on stage this year. And when Christmas is over, you get to take those ornaments home and they'll be yours. I trust that you'll take the form either in your bulletin or in the foyer in the back of the church. Fill it out, turn them in. We only have 220 ornaments to use this year. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Our next Sunday night service will be on November 3rd at five o'clock. This service will have the youth worship team. We'll do communion and Rick Cardozo will be preaching about the cure for anxiety from the book of Matthew. We hope you'll join us on this special service. 